In today's exercise, you will see two distinctly different types of aircraft. The A-10 Thunderbolt II in both its ground attack and forward air controller roles and the F-16C Fighting Falcon also capable of both missions. These two aircraft combine to fly over half the total tactical sorties flown during Desert Storm. The A-10 was specifically designed for close air support. The ability to kill targets at long range before the aircraft can be heard prompted the Iraqis to nickname the A-10 the Silent Gun. The Warthog is a tough, maneuverable, survivable aircraft. The A-10 carries a flexible and impressive payload ranging from CVU-87 and laser-guided bombs to as many as six AGM-65 Maverick missiles in addition to 1,150 armor-piercing incendiary 30-millimeter rounds. The first aircraft you will see will be the OA-10 forward air controller. His call sign today is Rifle. He circles over the battlefield, spots enemy positions, talks to his ground counterparts, deconflicts artillery and friendly positions, and directs the airstrike. The FAC will either mark the targets with white phosphorus rockets or pass map and topographical references to the fighters. The first fighter's call sign is Hog, a flight of four A-10s. In an attempt to mass firepower, the FAC A will call in a flight of two F-16Cs. Their call sign today is Snake, and their ordnance is two 2,000-pound bombs. Now it's time to go airborne with our FAC as he finds and marks his target and then controls the airstrike. Hog rifle, uh, FAC's in to mark, elevation 3030. I got three tanks in the open. Need 30 millimeter on that. Got two marks away, call the marks in sight. FAC's off to the southeast. Hog's got the marks. The marks bracket your east and center target. Three vehicles oriented east-west, you're cleared in. Hog one's in from the east. One, you're in sight. One, you're cleared hot. Cleared hot. Two, you're cleared hot. Three's in. Three, you're inside, cleared hot. Okay, I've got this 8-9 to the north, and uh, rifle's picking up eight rod this time. Okay. Eight large to the north, I mean, everybody off south, rifle's in on the nine. Cover egress and south. We keep it south, take it down low. Uh, four tanks, one Zeus, 
on TV8. Yeah, Hog, I gonna need you multiple passes on, the, on those tanks. We've got uh, additional ones moving into that area. I got a possible Zeus moving back in there. Using the suppression capabilities of the A-10 and the rest of the strike package to sanitize the area, two HH-60G Pavehawk helicopters ingress at low altitude. Their mission is to recover an Allied pilot down behind enemy lines. U.S. Air Force HH-60s modified for combat rescue have an unrefueled combat radius of 250 miles, which can be extended by air refueling from C-130 tanker aircraft. The lead aircraft uses the fast rope to insert two pararescue specialists to secure and treat the survivor. After ensuring the area is clear to land, the Paypox will set down to recover the team. Jolly, Sandy 1. Sandy, Jolly, go. Get you loud and clear. Fisher your 5 2, pop smoke. Sandy, rifle again. Two columns of vehicles about four clicks north of your survivor. We're looking for the uh, smoke. Sandy 2, come uh, back around. Take the uh, targets to the east. Pitch is in on the targets from the east. I see uh, 12 vehicles, 12 vehicles moving south. Okay, copy that. Sandy, uh, Darkstar's looking for an uh, update on the survival. Copy, yeah, PJ's on the ground. Darkstar rifle, uh, Sandy passes at uh, PJ's are on the ground. Condition is good. I'll be picking up in approximately uh, one minute. Copy, uh, one minute. attack on that uh, first target as brief. You're cleared in. Keep all fires east of the lake bed. How copy? Jolly, 30 seconds. Taking fire from the north. 200 meters far. Rifle copies. I got uh, all the smokes left, Sandy. I'll put what I got down. Sandy, come to the 30 seconds. Sandy, two, you got those fist mounts to the uh, north of the survivor. Sandy, two, Sally, just wants to press the front. Dark Star's one of their status survivor. About 10 seconds. Copy. Dark Star, you copy? The Pavehawk is capable of day or night operations at very low altitude. It is outfitted with a forward-looking infrared system, highly accurate navigation systems, and night vision equipment. By exploiting these night capabilities, the HH-60 can avoid a significant portion of the threat and capitalize on surprise and confusion of the enemy forces. The Allied aviator is safely aboard and will be returned to his unit to fight another day.